I'm married. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad. Been married a long time. Thir oh, thank oh, did you say sorry I've been married a long time? That's good. Over 30 years I've been married. And it's, it still amazes me how what begins as a simple conversation between a husband and wife can escalate into this full-blown war, right? And you're right, and you're at each other's throats. And I know why this happens. It happens because men know how to answer questions and women don't. <laughs> It's true, it's true. You ask a guy a question, he gives you the answer, boom, you're done. You ask a woman a question, and ladies, you have this need to take us on a little journey on the way to the answer, right? I asked my buddy Paul, what time's the movie? Paul says 7.20. We get in the car, we go to the movie. I asked my wife, what time's the movie? She says, well, which car are we taking? <laughs> what? <laughs> are we taking the minivan or the SUV? I don't know, does it matter? Well, I read in Consumer Reports that the minivan gets better gas mileage than the SUV. Okay, then I guess we can take the SUV. Oh, but if, if we take the minivan, we can go get gas on the way to the movie, because otherwise we have to get gas in the morning on the way to work. Okay, it doesn't matter. Which one do you want to take? <laughs> well, it all depends. <laughs> what time's the movie? <laughs> Marriage is confusing. Chores are confusing. I still don't have this down after all these years of marriage. It's still a problem. Chores are tough. When we first got married, we decided to do the honor system, right? You see something that needs to be done and you go do it, right? But I'm a guy, so nothing ever got done, right? So then we decided to assign the chores. And I took on the assignment of doing the dishes. Because how hard is that, right? Collect the dishes, put them in the dishwasher, add some soap, turn it on, and you're done, right? Yeah, wrong. Because my wife comes back later and rearranges everything into some sort of Tetris-inspired method that only she and a few CIA operatives know how to do, and that's how you do the dishes. <laughs> Speaking of stress, anybody have kids? We got kids, we have three kids. Our daughter got married a few years ago, and when she came to plan the wedding, I had one of those parental flashbacks to when she was first born, you know? No, it was great. I, I, my wife got pregnant, you know, she went, we went to the hospital, she gave birth, and the nurse came out and said, here, this is yours. And I thought, well, how do, you, what do you, how do you hold the baby? I don't know how to do this. Hold it by the head, you know, do you hold it by the legs? She said, no, you just hold it like a little football. That's how you hold the baby, like a football. I said, okay, so I held the baby like a football. What they don't tell you is that you take that little baby home, that little football home, and little by little, that cute little football, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and older and older and older until it's a teenager. And then you find yourself wishing just for a moment. It was back like that cute little football again, right? Yeah, so you can punt it. <laughs> now we've been married a long time, I told you, and you know, after all those years of being